Hello Blender fans, I recently tried the Blender add-on B-Surfaces for retopology and here's a short overview. I sculpted this grumpy guy here and he needs retopo. So let's activate the add-on B-Surfaces that is included in Blender 2.79 and can be used to convert crease pencil strokes to geometry. To start with it, add a simple object like a cube or plane or whatever at the center. So be sure to set the 3D cursor to the center, then switch to edit mode, press the A key and remove all the vertices. Then in object mode, add a shrink wrap modifier to the new object. For the target, select your sculpted object and then enable the visibility of the cage that you can see the geometry that you're going to add. And also activate the X-ray so that the new object will appear above the sculpted one. After that, activate Crease Pencil Layers. And on the Crease Pencil tab, set the placement to surface to be able to paint onto the sculpted object. I use the basic pencil for drawing with one pixel size and while pressing the D key now you can draw lines onto the head. And now comes the magic. Switch to edit mode so that the B surfaces panel is visible. And then press the button Add Surface and look at this, the lines are converted to geometry. Awesome, now you can work with this in edit mode and for example move vertices around, add edge loops, extrude new faces and the new mesh will snap onto the head because of the shrink wrap modifier. And if you have a symmetrical object for retopology, I recommend to add a mirror modifier in object mode with clipping enabled. This is very useful because you only have to create the retopo mesh for half of the head. Now you can also go ahead and draw lines around the eye socket, for example. You see I always start from the inside to the outside. Because to ensure that the retopo mesh is correctly generated, it's important to keep the direction of the strokes consistent. And then before I hit the Add Surface button, I enable Cyclic Cross so that the ring of faces will be closed. After adding the surface, you can also change the number of added vertical or horizontal edge loops, which is called cross and follow. Okay guys, that's it for a basic and short overview of B surfaces. I really like this add-on. Usually I use Retopoflow for retopology with Blender, but B surfaces is also a great help. If you have any questions or ideas, please add them to the comments. Like the video if you like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss the next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching this, consider supporting me on my Patreon and come back soon to JNM.